Hi guys, my name is Sophie Sukin and I'm here with Moda East at the Chic Mansion in Punta Cana. Okay, so I am from the middle of Canada. It's called Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It's quite a mouthful, but it's right in the middle of Canada and it's more so closer to the West Coast. My movie title of my life would probably be something to do with the pink or even like confessions of a shopaholic or something like that, probably. To take risks and don't be afraid of what other people think. My spirit animal is my dog Zoe. She is a Maltese Pomeranian and she's my sister and my best friend. So, yeah. I love Rihanna. I love rap music. So probably like Drake, Travis Scott, but then I also love like more like alternative music too. I don't know. I'm a huge music person, so that's really hard. My morning beauty ritual, every day I wake up and I wash my face with my SkinCeuticals cleanser and then I just do my everyday makeup routine afterwards. Probably my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love LA, I love New York, and I love Paris, so those are my favorites. I want to go to Tokyo, that's like number one for me. I want to go to Spain and I want to go to um, Bora Bora. My number one New Year's resolution was to work out and be healthier. I would say three words to describe myself is girly, friendly, and silly. So I would describe my feed as PFG. That is a lingo that me and my girlfriends have made and it stands for Pink Feed Goals. Um, yeah, and it just means when you have lots of pink in your feed and kind of like an aesthetic we always try to achieve. So. One thing that would probably surprise my fans to know about me is I have a peanut nut allergy, so I could probably never become vegan because everything in like the vegan world is like made with some sort of nut. So that's one thing I've always wanted to become vegan, but it's just really hard for me. I can't, I can't do it with my nut allergy. So I became an influencer because I just was posting my everyday OTDs on my Instagram feed, and then it kind of just like tumbled into growing a following from that and. Yeah, and then I just turned it into a business, so just being passionate about fashion and yeah, that's how I got into it. The easiest part about it is getting to work with so many amazing people, brands, and getting to travel the world and seeing places and making friends. The hardest part about being an influencer is probably always having to be on it with your social media and like you sometimes have to remind yourself to get off your phone and really just live in the moment because that's something that we as influencers get kind of caught up in is we're always on our phone posting stories and photos and stuff like that so you really gotta live in the moment. My favorite part about this Modi East getaway was coming to a new place and meeting all these new people and making new friends. Oh my gosh, I love everything. This chic mansion is beautiful. I love the backyard. I love how it's laid out with the pool and the palm trees and just the location is amazing. I love Modelis Magazine because they are girls supporting girls and I feel like in today's society we really need that and yeah, it's just girl power and I love that.